2017 Nissan GTR Nismo Review From 76,875 pounds 8 point Nissan GTR Nismo is much improved by changes that have already enhanced the standard GTR lineup, albeit at a price. What is it? Right, now pay attention for the Nissan GTR Nismo, because this is where it gets complicated. The Nissan GTR this one is the R35 generation has been around since 2007. Which, yes, means that people are starting to ask Nissan for an all new one, but Nissan hasn't finished with this version yet. Nissan introduces upgrades to the GTR most years, but for 2017 the regular version received its biggest alterations so far, a power increase, a new interior layout, the most notable change, and aerodynamic upgrades inspired by the existing GTR Nismo, the range-topping special racy version. There were enhancements to the chassis stiffness, too. The Nismo variant already had a stiffer chassis, but that stiffness was achieved by a different method to the standard car's increase. Following. Good. Now the complicated bit, because the Nismo variant has also received some modifications for 2017. But instead of things that featured on the Nismo filtering down to the rest of the GTR range, here things are filtering back up. The Nismo gets the same interior changes as the regular GTR, meaning that the button count on the dashboard is down from 27 to 11. That's a good thing, and with it comes a separate rotary controller for the 8.0 in touch screen, which is otherwise a bit fiddly to use at speed. Those aerodynamic changes that filtered from the Nismo to the standard GT are most noticeable around the wedgie rear end remain but have been tweaked a little more. The standard GTRS new, broader grille has been introduced, although this is more for aesthetics than because of an increase in cooling requirements. But there are a few other exterior aero tweaks around the front end, to increase downforce while not adding any more drag. Finally, although the standard GTR shell is stiffer, the Nismo is still the recipient of extra chassis stiffening enhancements of its own. The increase in torsional rigidity means the springs, dampers, and anti-roll bars have all been tweaked, all by unspecified amounts but none a great deal, to alter the handling balance. The aim wasn't only to add pure speed but to increase the feel of agility and make the Nismo a bit more playful near his limit. When it comes down to actual increases in cornering ability and slalom times, Nissan claims a modest 2% improvement. What's it like? Unlike the regular GTR, neither the engine nor the gearbox of the 2017 Nismo has been touched, so it's still a 592 bhp. 3.8 liter V6 whose turbos have been nicked from Nissan's GTR GT3 race car. The engine drives all four wheels through a six-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox. What does all that mean? It means that, in December, on a frosty morning at Silverstone and on an exceedingly slippery surface, the GTR Nismo is disinclined to show its best hand. In a way, that's not a bad thing, you can find out about a car's handling in rather slower conditions than if it were 25 DEGC in June. That there's no increase in power or torque the latter still stands at an impressive 481 pounds foot from 3600 RPM is precisely no hardship at all. The regular GTR isn't a light car, never was, and at just 27 kilograms lighter than the standard GTR the Nismo is no exception. But 592 bhp makes pretty light work of 1725 kilograms. Nissan is also disinclined to claim a 0 to 60 miles per hour time, something Japanese car makers have begun to make a habit of, but if it doesn't end in a point zero, there's a chance it'll start with a 2. Peak power arrives at 6800 rpm and you can rev the engine to all but 7000 rpm, but with peak torque hanging around until 5800 rpm and because the noise is always powerful, always bussy and with no crescendo like you'd get in, say, a Porsche 911 GT3, 
there's no need to wring every last rev out of every gear. Improvements in grip levels are, in these conditions, impossible to note. They likely would be in the dry, too, at only 2%, but a change in the Nismo's preferred cornering stance is easier to feel. Rather than run out of grip at both ends and scrabble and nibble at each corner, it feels happier to let you turn the steering less and let the power shuffle around at the rear more. The steering is still terrifically responsive, too. The changes might make negligible difference to the speed, but you can feel an additional keenness in the cornering stance. Should I buy one? There are many reasons you'd want one, and some reasons you'd still think twice. The price is up a bit. Well, quite a lot. Instead of 125,000 pounds, the Nismo is now 149,995 pounds. I seem to remember when a GTR was once the budget alternative to a supercar. Now, the Nismo is supercar priced, though that doesn't mean you're being taken for a ride. I'd be surprised if it were turning a bigger profit margin than most supercars, given there are lots of hand-built elements, such as the engine, while in terms of performance, the GTR is embarrassed by nothing, and you get a lot of options and carbon fiber as standard. Either way, Nissan will have no trouble selling the two dozen or so Nismos that are heading to the UK, and their drivers will have no trouble enjoying them. 2017 Nissan GTR Nismo Location Northamptonshire On sale Now Price £149,995 Engine V6 3,799 cubic centimeters, twin turbo, petrol. Power. 592 bhp at 6800 rpm. Torque. 481 pounds foot 3600 rpm. Gearbox. 6 SPD dual clutch auto. Curb weight. 1,725 kilograms. 0 to 62 miles per hour. 3.0 SEC, EST. Top speed. 196 miles per hour. Economy. 23.9 MPG, combined. CO2 slash tax band. 275 G slash KM, 37%. Rivals. Porsche 911 GT3 Rs, McLaren 570s.